State of the Union address on Tuesday. And to all our clients in the Northeast and friends, uh, stay warm and safely speaking with that monster storm coming your way. Hello, fellow traders. Adam Hewison here, president of INO.com and co-creator of Market Club with your video market update for Friday, the 8th of February. Well, the State of the Union address is on Tuesday. I hope you all watch that because shortly after the State of the Union, on CNBC Asia Live from Washington, I'll be on the show, cash flow, talking about the State of the Union and how it's going to affect the markets. You may want to watch that. It'll be kind of interesting for you. So we have the State of the Union on Tuesday. We have the sequester at the end of the month. Lots going on that's going to affect the markets. But what are the markets actually doing? So let's go to our portfolio and take a look. So here we are. Let's go right to our portfolio. Let's start at crude oil. And crude oil, you see, it's had a little bit of a dip. We're still bullish on this market. We still have our longer term and intermediate term trends positive. Only the very, very short term is negative from 96.51. The current market's 95.65, so about a, a dollar high. So, but we are in an oversold condition. You can see right here, we're back down to this these lows here, which basically tend to be areas of change for the trend to go back up. So watch this very carefully. Look for the little short-term daily triangle to turn green and then get long. That's what we're suggesting. So let's clear this off now and go back to our next market. We've got a lot to cover today. We're going to cover th six markets that are on the move, three on the upside, three on the downside. So let's go on with gold. Gold's been a big disappointment for a lot of people. And the reason for that, and we've showed you on the show here, why it's been going negative is, let's just go to six months, close only chart, and let's just take a triangles off and let's just put a trend line a very simple trend line which you can just click from the highs and boom 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 it just hits perfectly I mean this is like custom made this market has to go over the if you can imagine the the trading range boom, 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 and suddenly it goes that way over this line so around 1680 to 1685 if it closes over that line, over 1680, you want to buy gold because that's going to be very bullish in my opinion, much like it was in crude oil. So watch that very carefully next week and particularly uh, after the State of the Union address because that's where it's really going to start popping. And remember, we have 24-7 coverage on gold at Market Club. You can find live real-time prices for gold 24-7 on Market Club. So let's go to the next market, the Euro dollar. The Euro dollar has been jawboned down by Mario Draghi. You can see basically our triangles are still positive. But the bottom line is this is a pullback in what I consider to be a bull market. And we're now oversold. I expect this market to regroup pretty soon. And it could be, again, the, the game change. It could be the State of the Union because the U.S. wants a lower dollar for obviously export purposes. So here we have the S&P 500. The chart's still very, very bullish. We've shown you the pattern before. It's a classic pattern that we'd like to look at. And that is we have you know, the resist resistance levels right here. Boom. The breakout right here. You can see the monthly trade trial kicked in before then. And this is capable of going to uh, 1560 to 1600. That's really a great opportunity. So. Regardless of what the president says on Tuesday, we may see a pullback, but I think we'll see eventually see this market really take off. If we get the sequester t problem fixed before the third, before the end of the month, I think that's another big plus for the market. So the trend is your friend, and the trend is positive for equities right now here in the states. So let's just clear the screen and let's take a look at the Dow. Dow kind of meandering along. This is what we said before. It's sort of holding the pattern until we see something go on with the State of the Union and the sequester. Great names, by the way. So here's the here's the, the real star of the show, really, is the NASDAQ today. It's up. It's up some 1%, which is pretty good. But it's really been a big function of what Apple is doing. The Einhorn green light suing Apple to divulge some of its huge hordes of money. That's what's being the secret to this market, uh, uh, to this index rather. The, the Apple takes about 10% of the index, so it's really a huge mover. Apple goes up, the index goes up. Apple goes down, chances are you're going to see this index goes down. So more bullish on the S&P 500 and the Dow than that market. Now look at the markets that are on the move. Microchip, tech, MCHP symbol, boom, big move up. 
But again, look at the pattern we're coming from. We did not, you know, we picked this up really nicely. Here's the weekly, here's the monthly. Oh, let me just draw this. And there's the breakout. So a nice pattern capable of taking from 29 to, let's say, 34. We'll just round it up. So that's $5. Add $5 to 34, takes you up to 39. So I think 39 to 40 would be a natural target for this market. Currently trading at 36. 35. It's a nice 10% move from where we are right now. So let's just clear the screen and go to our next market. And that's going to be, hold on. Next market is going to be Seagate Technology. STX is a the symbol there. Again, a very positive picture. It's up today. It was up much more higher later earlier on. It's pulled back a little bit. It's up still up 2.21%. Um, and again, we want to be long the stock. We think it's going to go higher. We stop the key level here is below 33. If we're wrong, that's going to be a cutout point. But generally speaking, we think this market can go higher. And certainly the trend has been certainly that way. So let's see how that plays out. Next market is going to be Adobe. Adobe Systems, ADBE is the symbol. New highs, love this stock, love this stock, love this stock. You look at this longer term, this is clearing all of this kind of information. It's definitely a big, big new high. The highest it's been since, gosh, going all the way back to 2008. Uh, so I think we could see this market go back up to certainly the uh, 45. The other side, the flip side of the coin, are the stocks that aren't doing well. Now remember, Standard Poor's is getting sued by the U.S. government on a case that may be somewhat flimsy. I don't know, but that's not our, our we're not lawyers, but the reality is I think it's going to be a very flimsy case. Here we have a monthly that kicked in yesterday at 43.90. We're 43.46. So basically, we're still in that mode, but everything is negative for this stock. It would look as though if we scope this out, let's say six months, as though we could get back certainly with all the confusion, everything else down to 43, 39, somewhere like that. So it's a nice 10% move on the short side. So moving along to our next stock, this is First Solar. FSLR is the symbol. First Solar, pretty interesting stock. Now remember, we have got a monthly that's long. Let me just reiterate what this is so you, you see. So here we are. We consider this to be the trend. Okay, so, and as you can see, the trend is up. That's the long-term trend that's up for First Solar. This market right here is for timing. And as you can see, it's negative, meaning you should be out of the market. You should not trade against the trend, but you should be out of the market right now. And there's the signal right there. So even though the market's down today, which is good, you would still be basically out of this market. You want to wait until you see some sort of form where this one, this triangle, oh, excuse me, turns green. Okay? Once that turns green, it means the trend is back up because you're trading in conjunction with this trend here. Very, very important to trade with the trend. So let's just clear the screen off, go to our next market. And this is RSG, Republic Services. And Republic Services, big move today on the downside, said get out of the stock for at least for the time being, longer term still bullish, but for the moment, just be out of the stock. And that's the best way to play this. Wait until you see either this market gets oversold down to these areas like here and here. And then if you still have a green monthly trade triangle, you may want to take a shot at buying it. Or you want to be more conservative, wait until the intermediate weekly triangle turns green. That's the key thing to look at. So look, we've covered a lot of stocks in a record time. We want to move these shows along. But don't forget, if you have a chance, watch the President's State of the Union address on Tuesday. I'm following that right after that on Cash Flow on CNBC Asia at 10 o'clock. I hope you can watch that. But I'll be back on Monday with the updates and see what the markets are doing then. To all our friends again in the Northeast, stay warm and well this weekend with that storm. I'm Adam Hewiston for Market Club. I'll be back on Monday. Have a great weekend, everyone.